Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here with a very special video. Uh, today is January 22nd, oh, the night before the 22nd of 2019. And uh, well, the reason that date is special is because on January 22nd of 2016, I made my very first YouTube video ever. And as I've done every year, I did it with one year and I did it with two years. I am going to reflect on the year that was, as well as give my hopes for the future of the year that is to come on my channel. Um, this video is entirely for the people who are really dedicated to my channel, who watch all my videos and actually care about the channel. This is for you guys. This is a year for all of us to just reflect on what was and um, see what we can do better. And talk about the great things and the bad things that happened throughout the year. It's always very healthy to look back at what you've done so you can prepare yourself better for the future. And that is the point of these videos. And just want to say first and foremost, thank you guys for sticking around for three years. Um, time sure flies. It really, really does. I fit, on one hand, it feels like I started YouTube a long time ago. But on, one, on the other hand, it's like three years isn't that long. But it feels like a long time. And... The fact that I'm still here, kind of surprising. I, you know, when I started YouTube, I never thought, hey, I'd be, I'd be doing this for at least three years consistently. Uh, but here I am. So I took a few notes. Um, I went through all the videos that I put throughout the last YouTube year for me, from the last 22nd to this 22nd. Um, and I'm going to go down in order as to like, I'll start with the one that happened at the beginning of this third year and then move down the list into the most recent stuff. So, we started off the year by starting Metroid Prime 2. Uh, as a lot, of, a lot of you guys know, I did the Metroid Prime 1 Let's Play Blind, and to this date, that is easily my most successful uh, Let's Play. My Let's Plays typically don't get a lot of views. And it's kind of funny, I attribute this mainly to one thing, not so much me. I started my, <laughs> I started my Metroid Prime 1 Let's play a week before Metro Prime 4 was announced. And I have no doubt in my mind that that's what got that a lot of traction because that's how that those video series blew up. Because the second Metro Prime 4 got announced, I guarantee everyone was looking up uh, Metro Prime Let's Plays. But anyway, I, I had to do Metro Prime 2. So I got it on the GameCube and I did my whole Let's Play of Metro Prime 2. And uh, quite the experience. I didn't like it quite as much as the first game. Uh, but I really did enjoy it, and thank you guys for kind of helping through that game. It was a fun experience working with fans as we went through that game, and I'd ask you guys for tips, and you guys would see me struggle. A lot of you guys, not a, not a lot of you, but there were certain diehard uh, Metroid fans out there that were very upset with how terrible I was at the game. And I don't blame you, but I hopefully you found some entertaining, uh, entertainment in that series. I know I sure had a good time. Uh, but if you remember, at the end of that series, I said that would not be the last of Metroid coverage to my channel. There is something coming up in the very near future that is Metroid-related, so stay tuned for that. Uh, the second thing, major event that happened in this third year was I finished Wind Waker. I, fin I started Wind Waker in... Uh, did I start it in 2016? I must have. Uh, because I finished Wind Waker earlier on in this year, in 2018. Uh, Wind Waker was a very, it was a very smooth experience. It's a game I had played before, so I kind of knew the ins and outs of the game. I did struggle at times, I suppose, but overall, I think it went pretty well. Uh, yeah, no, no real noticeable things there other than that was a fun, uh, that was a fun let's play to do. The third thing that happened on March 27th of 2018, I reached 10,000 subscribers on my channel, uh, on January 22nd of 2018, I was at about nine and a half thousand, and I was eagerly anticipating getting 10,000. Um, and that was the date that I did reach 10,000. I was very excited about that. It's a very cool milestone to reach on YouTube. I understand there's plenty of bigger channels out there, but 10,000 to me was a huge deal. It still is a big deal. Um, and I should have taken a measurement, but I think I'm currently sitting at about 14,100 something subscribers right now. So over the last, from January 22nd of last year until right now, I gained about roughly 4,600 subscribers, which is good growth. 
Very happy about that. Uh, could have been better, um, but I'm very happy. 4,000 of you guys joined my channel, and I can't thank you enough for just watching all my videos and enjoying them. That's all I ever ask. I don't do YouTube for views. I just, I do it for not the view count or like, you know, any sort of stats like that. I do it to entertain people and just to have fun myself and to sort of catalog my experiences. And I think that's, that's what YouTube really should be. I mean, obviously you can have a living off of it, but we're getting off topic. Yeah, so I reached 10,000 on March 27th. Very cool day. Very happy about that. Next, My Hero Academia Season 3 starts. And let me just say, it was a lot of fun this season. So long-time people to my channel, you'll actually know I did reactions to Season 1 and Season 2. Unfortunately, I had to remove them due to copyright issues. I nearly lost the channel at one point because of the strikes I was getting, so I unfortunately had to remove those. But season three was a huge stepping stone for me in that I learned how to properly edit the videos to where it's respectful enough to the copyright owners, and it's a good medium between that and pleasing you guys as well. And as you see in the new format, the video is very small in the corner, but I encourage all of you to watch along with me, Watch With Mighty, on whatever streaming service you have. Um, the point of my series isn't to provide free anime for everyone. It is, as it says, watch a show with someone uh, so I can provide my reaction. And instead of watching a show alone, you can watch with me. Uh, and I feel like that's kind of a unique experience by itself. It's not just a reaction. It's you're watching the show with someone. Um, and that went very well. Uh, from beginning to end, you know, I've been kind of become known for my... Uh, if I have one calling card to my channel, it is my My Hero Academia reactions. They're easily my most popular series. Um, like, I think the uh, All Might versus All for One, the famous United States of Smash episode, that got like 60,000 views or something. It's up there. Um, I it's, it's crazy. It was so crazy just knowing that when I put that video up, that thousands of people will be watching alongside me. That, to me, that... That is the coolest experience ever, and I cannot thank you guys enough. Um, what a joy it was covering season three! I can't wait to cover season four as well. It'd be a lot. It's gonna be. A, it's gonna be a blast. Um, and I'm happy I got my um, strategy down for how to edit the videos right. So that's great as well. Okay, collaborations and adventures with Hero Hey. So me and Hero Hey. We've been great friends ever since. Uh, we both covered Samurai Jack Season 5. Um, for those of you who have been a long time followers of my channel, you remember that. Uh, Samurai Jack Season 5, we both covered the show. and We kept in touch ever since then. And then we started doing collaboration videos. Uh, we actually ranked every class member of Class 1A. I think, I think we should probably do a new version of that list. But that was a lot of fun. A lot of people really enjoyed that list. And uh, as for the adventures, uh, later in the year, we'll get. Uh, I don't know if I wrote this down for later. No, I didn't, so I'll mention it now. Uh, later in the year, around like July, uh, me and him actually went to Anime Expo, where I saw the world premiere of My Hero Academia, the movie, the very first screening. And what an awesome experience that was. It was a great time to hang out with Hero in LA. Uh, we, <laughs> we just had some wacky adventures, and it was a really great time. Uh, I have a video where I talked about all that uh, about six months ago. So if you guys want to go check out that experience, I have a video dedicated to that. A um, lot of fun. Hero's, Hero's such a great guy. I hope you guys uh, go check out his channel. Next, I started the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood reactions. And wow. What a wonderful, wonderful show. I have always heard it was great. I've always heard great things about it. I'm still not done yet. Uh, I only have about eight episodes left, and to be honest, I'm surprised I'm not done yet. I started this about five months ago or so, and uh, part of it I'll get to later as there's like personal reasons I took a hiatus, but um, I really enjoy watching an episode or two a week because it feels like just this grand event where you're watching it, and uh, I have the comments disabled for that series at the time of this recording, but once the series is done, I'm going to reopen the, com the comments for all the videos. Um, cause I do want to hear you guys' thoughts, but it was just, just to prevent spoilers for myself cause I really am enjoying the show and I'm so glad that I don't know how it's going to end. Um, so thank you guys for sticking through watching all that. It's been a great experience and I hope to finish that very, very soon before I move from this house. Um, 
Next, I started a Patreon. Uh, I, you know, I didn't really have any concrete goal in mind for Patreon other than I just wanted to help mitigate the costs for Funimation, uh, Netflix, uh, the Adobe software that I use to edit the videos and stuff. Uh, I don't do YouTube for a living or anything like that, but it is nice to sort of get some help in regards to, because the Funimation, it's $7 a month. Netflix is now like twelve ninety nine or something. I think they just raised their price again. And then Adobe is $30 a month. So all that together, you're looking at like 50 whatever bucks a month, a little more than that. Um, and it kind of sucks uh, to pay for that. I, I Obviously, I use Netflix and Funimation outside of just the reaction series. But I primarily use them. I don't really watch much Netflix other than The Office. An unhealthy amount, by the way. I watch The Office a lot. But uh, I use that for, obviously, Fullmetal Alchemist. And I use Funimation for My Hero, which has been a great experience. So thank you, thank you to all my patrons. As you guys know, I give you guys shout-outs every month as well uh, as you guys ask me questions. And I'm hoping to add more rewards to that soon. But, <clears throat> yeah, thank you guys for your support so much. Uh, you know, it's it's... Not only do I know that you guys care, but it, it's just it's just so nice to know that my, some of my subscribers are so like generous. I I, I really don't deserve you guys, um, so thank you so much. Um, so that's my Patreon. Uh, next, I started a, midway through season three of uh, My Hero. Me and Gore the Movie God started a series called Anime Shenanigans. Uh, this just kind of came about, we're talking about it, and they're like, oh, it'd be kind of fun to have like a podcast kind of thing where we discuss the episodes that just happened. Because obviously I give my thoughts at the end of every episode, but um, it's fun to bounce it off someone else, someone who's a different personality than me. And Gore, me and Gore are similar in some ways, but he's definitely a different personality. So it's fun to bounce ideas and talk off each other. And uh, you guys really found that entertaining. I'm really glad you guys like that. Uh, it didn't interrupt the schedule of any of my other uploads. It was just something I added once a week and we had a great time recording it. So Gore, if you're listening to this, thank you for doing that reaction series. I hope we can do it again for season four. I'm sure we'll be, I'm sure we'll be up for it. Um, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. We also did a movie review for the My Hero Academia 2 Heroes. Uh, that's also up on my channel if you want to check that out. It's a lot of, just a great time talking with Gore. Uh, he's a nerd just like I am. So, <laughs> um, Next, this is a, so I actually, and and season I had one video of season two remaining after my purge of all the videos. I left the finale up because in the finale of My Hero Academia season two, I actually made lyrics for the opening of the show and I sang them to you guys as the show opened. I have since taken that video down, but I did save a copy of it. I'll try to find some way to re-upload that. Because you guys like that video, you know, something, something Japanese. You guys remember it. That's, that's a running joke on my channel as well. You guys, you, my hero guys love that one. And, uh, I, I love the lyrics I made for that one. But anyway, I made, uh, season three opening lyrics as well. I'd only did it for the first opening. I didn't like the second opening as much. I didn't really want to do it again. This is something I might do like once per season. I'll choose one of the two openings I like better and maybe make an intro, like a, lyrics for anyway i typed out the lyrics i made all the, i made up all these lyrics because obviously the show is in japanese and so is the intro <laughs> so i made up my own and um embarrassingly put a video of myself on the internet dubbing over an anime intro no shame baby no shame sometimes you just gotta roll with it <laughs> uh, but in all seriousness i'm glad you guys enjoy that uh i am a goofball at the end of the day and um if I can entertain you guys in that way, of course, I'm going to do it. Um, so yeah, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, next, personal life drama. Uh, I've talked about this extensively, but it needs to be brought up again if we're doing a year in review. Uh, in December, my dog that we've had for 14 years, we absolutely loved him. Huge part of our family, just like the closest thing ever to us. Uh, became very sick and, uh, we believe it was cancer that had spread you know, through his body and we had to put our dog down. And even, even now I'm still very sad about it. Um, I've moved past the crying and stuff like that, but it's just like this feeling of sadness 
that doesn't really go away super quickly. You know, when you lose a loved one, it can linger for a long time. It's only been a month. Um, but yeah, I made a video talking about him. I really, really wanted to make it that video because I view YouTube as a way to kind of catalog my own experiences in my life so I can look back on it years later and like that's, it's like a time capsule of sorts. And uh, I made a video about him kind of just talking about him and the experience and I feel like that that was important to do. So yeah, that happened and um, literally 10 days later, my sister got married. So that was a huge emotional swing right there. And then I had to give a public speech and that I didn't have to give a public speech, but I had to give a toast to my sister. I wanted to do it. Um, you got to face your fears. I hate public speaking by far my biggest fear, but I got up, you know, had my paper read, read the few paragraphs I had. And next thing I know people were clapping and like, I look over all the, all the ladies in the wedding are just like wiping tears from their eyes. And it's like, well, I did something right. If I made people cry, cheer. Um, but it was, it, <laughs> yeah, uh, it went well. Uh, the wedding was a lot of fun. Congrats again to my sister, Presley and Kaylin. Um, you guys are great. I love both of you. And, um, that was really a fun experience. And, uh, yeah, it was definitely normally I thought I, I, for a while I thought, wow, what crappy timing. My sister's wedding is right after, um, we lose such an important, you know, part of our lives. And it turns out to be a huge blessing because, you know, at a wedding you get all your family coming to town you get to say hi to them. And it's just a joyous occasion. Um, it can't, it can't wash away all of your pain and sadness, but it, it's nice to get an influx of love and support and uh, people you care about in your life appearing at that time. Definitely helped. Blessing in disguise for sure. And um, yeah, the wedding was was good. <clears throat> I, and uh, I sh the last thing I should mention, and this is kind of an important one in regards to my channel. Uh a little bit before my dog got sick, we actually learned that we would be moving from this house. I still do live at home with my parents. Uh, I'm saving money and doing the best I can while I work and uh, trying to balance YouTube as well as personal life, you know, just things like that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm trying to save up money and living with the mom and dad still. But we found out we had to move. And this is a house we've lived in for 12 years. So, you know, change is never easy. Uh, literally, I've been through middle school, high school, and junior college. Uh, community college in this house. Um, yeah, so I'll be moving in literally 10 days from the time this recording, uh, which is kind of wild. Uh, again, this past month and a half has just been a roller coaster of emotions for me and my personal life. Uh, and I'm, I've done the best I can to keep YouTube going. Like, obviously I would never stop, but like, I mean, I mean going in terms of like keeping content up and trying to be consistent um, but with work, uh, my dog, my sister's wedding, uh, having to get things prepared for move, I, it's been tough to keep the uploads consistent and I apologize for that. Um, I do feel like I'm starting to get back into the groove of things in some degree, but it's all going to change again because I have to move <laughs> all my computer and my desk set up to the new house, get everything situated there. So, you know, it's, not quite done yet, but we're getting there. And um, again, I do think in a, in a weird way, it is once again, blessing in disguise because, um, you know, like all the, all the changes in my life that I was mentioning for, for the past couple of years, since my sister's been moved out, the house felt a little emptier anyways. And then my, when my dog passes, the house just feels so empty because it's a big house for only three people. And you know, it's just sad looking down the hall and like knowing there's no one down there and stuff. So it's, it's nice in the sense that we're going to a smaller house. Um, I am going to miss this house because obviously a lot of great experiences here. I started my YouTube channel here. You know, I started in the small room on the other side of the house while my sister still lived in here. And yeah, I mean, I'm going to miss this house. I really am. Uh, I know this isn't like matter to you guys, but again, I'm just, trying to say what I'm thinking and I'll move on. Um, but yeah, I'm going to miss this house, but change is good. And I think it'll be a nice breath of fresh air when you're in a new house and away from just kind of feeling like this place is empty. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Sad about that, but life goes on. And, uh, so does the YouTube channel. <laughs> 
You tackle, you tackle an obstacle, do the best you can, and you try to grow and learn from it. Always remember that. No matter what obstacle comes your way, do your best with the people around you. Never, never be afraid to rely on loved ones and friends. That's why they're there. It's okay to ask for help sometimes if you're feeling down or need help, okay? Always remember that. So yeah, that was the personal stuff. And lastly, in the year that was year three, uh, I started Custom Robo and Pikmin. Both Let's Plays are still going on. Both are going pretty well. Uh, like I said, I took the hiatus from Fullman Alchemist, Pikmin, and Custom Robo when I was dealing with all that stuff in December, um, as well as like early January. Uh, but yeah, they're back on track and I'd say I'm like halfway done with almost halfway done with Pikmin and custom robo. I'm not sure. I, I do think I have come to the realization. The story is longer than I expected it would be, but I'm still making good progress nonetheless. So yeah, that was my third year of YouTube quite a different year than I ever could have expected it to be. Uh, both with great things. I had so many great experiences, as I mentioned before. I didn't even list everything. This is just like the bullet points. Um, lots of great streams in there. I had that My Hero Academia stream in October, I think. It was like Halloween. I had that. That was a great stream. You guys really enjoyed that. There's, pl there's plenty of stuff, as well as, you know, the things I mentioned that were kind of sad. But all in all, like, I think year three was a year of growth, a year of challenges, and overcoming obstacles, and... What more can you ask for on a YouTube channel um, than to overcome challenges and to grow? That's, that is, YouTube is kind of an analogy for life. So I'm happy with year three. I think year four should be very exciting. Um, I don't really have any concrete plans as to, you know, what I can bring to the channel. There's some things I'd like to do. I'd like to get a new camera. Uh, this camera is good. It's, it served me very well. I still remember the day that I upgraded from my dinosaur camera that I used for my first Samurai Jack stuff to this one, and I was so happy. But, you know, time has come to where I do think I need to get a new one. Uh, I was planning to get a new desk, but unfortunately with the new area that we're going to be in, I might have to put that on hold for a little bit uh, because it's not that big. As you'll see when I start recording videos in the new room, it's much smaller. I should be able to fit everything in there fine, uh, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, and as for subscriber count, like I said, I'm currently at 14,150, something odd like that. Um, I'd love to hit 20K. Uh, I think it's possible. Last year I had 4,500-ish join. So to get that, I'll need 5,500, something like that to get there, so... Yeah, I could do it. It's going to take a lot of dedication, but hey, baby, I got plenty of that. Plenty of dedication. I love you guys. Um, you know, all this stuff goes on in my life. But at the end of the day, I can always come back to this web camera and say hi to all of you. I cannot express to you how much that means to me. Really, truly. I have yet, I've, I don't hardly know what any of your faces look like. All I can see are the comments and the likes and the dislikes, but you guys are there supporting me. And it's such an odd feeling, but I, it's one that I would not trade for the world. You guys are amazing. You are the reason I continue doing YouTube. Uh, <laughs> just knowing I can come back and talk to you guys and put things to the side for a moment and play some games watch some anime, just talk about my day. Uh, you guys are amazing. And um, yeah, year three was great. Let's make year four something truly special. And that was it, guys. That is my year three of YouTube review, my third year anniversary. Uh, I'm still amazed at the progress I've somehow made on this channel. I'm just a goofball. I don't really know what I'm doing. There's plenty of people out there with more, with more concrete strategies than me. But, uh, you know, as long as we've got me, we got you, we'll have a good time. I really truly believe that. And, um, so yeah, here's to year four. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it entertaining and insightful. And, uh, 
yeah, let's see what the th- fourth year has to bring for us. So, without further ado, this has been Mighty Gazelle. Hoping you all have a mighty day. See you guys.